In this video, I want to show you how to fix your side view mirror if it's been broken off by accident. A friend of mine broke his. He backed into the mailbox and knocked the mirror off. Now, this method will fix the um, rear view mirror, but it's not really good for a car that you want the appearance to be kept up. For example, I don't think I would use this method to fix the uh, mirror on a new Mercedes or a brand new car at all. Uh, but it's perfectly good for fixing your car mirror that's been broken off an old car, maybe a work car. Now, my friend, after he broke the mirror off, he decided to put it back on with Gorilla Glue. And of course, that didn't work too well at all. Now, uh, maybe he should have used this picture. Might have been better. I don't know, but I kind of doubt it. But if your repair job looks like this or anything akin to it, I suggest that you use my method instead. First thing you have to do is get what is called a mending plate. Uh, about a two and a half inch mending plate. Make sure it has four holes in it. You could get it at the hardware store, Home Depot, one of those places. You may have to bend it a bit to fit the contours of the mirror. And then what you'll do is take the, uh, the broken mirror, apply some epoxy glue to the place where it's been broken off. I have an arrow pointing to that location here. I use something called JB Weld which uh, was recommended by the car guys on NPR and it seems to be a pretty good epoxy but that in itself I don't think will really hold the mirror what you then have to do is take the mending plate after you bend it to the uh, appropriate contour put it on top of the mirror and of course the uh, broken support and drill I actually have to mark the holes first that is the four holes where the mending plate will be located take the mirror off again, drill the small holes, make sure they're small. When I say small, I mean like maybe an eighth of an inch. And then, uh, of course, screw the mirror on with the mending plate into position. If you use all four screws and put some epoxy under the mending plate besides, it'll certainly hold tight for the life of the car, unless you hit the mailbox again, of course. And I also what I did here is took some touch-up paint, which he had, and uh, covered the mending plate with the touch-up paint so it looked a little better but as I say it still wouldn't suffice for um, a new car or a car that you want to look good but unfortunately the uh, cost of repair if you want to repair it without this method and make it into a, uh, um, a repair that looks good is going to cost you between 250 and 500 dollars and that's a lot of money to spend on an old car or a car that you're really not concerned about how it looks but you do want of course the mirror to work so good luck give it a try I think it'll work for you